guys, welcome back. On today's video, we're going to be talking about Epcot and is Epcot for kids? I'm so excited to talk about Epcot. It is one of our absolute favorite parks and I'm so excited. But before we get into it, I am so excited to announce that me and my daughter are annual pass holders and I'm so excited to have our annual pass and I cannot wait to get to Disney World and scan our bands in the annual pass holder line. So excited. So I wanted to tell you guys we're planning a trip now for this summer. So I wanted to kind of get you guys to tell me maybe like what you want to see when we're there or if you have some questions you want me to answer while we're there or just whatever. I would love for you guys to tell me what what you're interested in, what you want to see because I will be vlogging and filming and all kinds of stuff on there and I'm so excited because this will be my first time to do that. As you know, I'm a new channel and I'm so excited to really get it going and start filming stuff at Disney World. So I'm so excited. So if you guys want to leave me a comment and tell me, hey, Taylor, could you show us something over here or could you do a review on this? I would love for you guys to let me know. So we're planning a trip pretty soon in the summer and I'm so excited. So leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see or what you want me to talk about. And I will try my best to do that. So I'm so excited. So I had to share that good news with you guys about the annual pass. So I'm so excited. And as you know, I'm not wearing my ears today. So I wanted to show you my new earrings. I don't know if you can see them. Aren't they so cute? They are from Momin with the Mouse. And she has a little Etsy shop. And it is so cute. She has some really great stuff. So go over there and check her stuff out. Super cute. Okay, so let's talk about Epcot. I want to tell y'all, when we first took our daughter, she was four, and I told my husband, like, I, I don't want to take her to Epcot. I don't think that she's going to like it. You know, there's not a lot for kids there. When you think Epcot, you think eating and drinking around the world, which is super fun, but that's more of an adult activity. So, of course, your little ones can eat and snack around the world too, but they don't need to have a margarita while they're walking around world showcase so that's just what i thought when we had our little girl and we were going to disney i thought i don't want to take her there she's not going to like it and there's not a lot for kids so when we took her the first time we did not go to epcot and that was a big mistake because the next time we went we did go and it is her absolute favorite park she absolutely loves it she always says she wants to go to the ball park so everybody knows the big the big ball spaceship earth so she loves that park and she loves figment and so that has really become her favorite one so i really really regret not taking her the first time that we went to disney world with her i really regret not taking her to epcot so let's talk about things that um, your little ones will like to do when you're there so let's start with the rides because that's one of my favorite things that's why we go to disney is to ride all the rides so I'm going to start with number one that is Stella's favorite. So she loves Figment and this is the cutest little ride. I absolutely love it. It's super easy. You just sit on there and it just very slowly takes you through all the senses and it's just so cute. There's a part on there where a skunk sprays because there's a part for smell and it stinks so bad. But Stella gets so tickled and laughs and laughs and laughs. She loves Figment. So that's a really cute one one of the or two of the bigger ones that you're going to want to go for are frozen ever after that one is so cute it's almost like a little mini i say little mini splash mountain because there's not any really big drops there is a bigger one but not as big as splash mountain and it's really really cute especially if your little one loves you know all the frozen movies you're going to want to check this one out it's super cute and it is located in norway and this one goes really really fast so you may want to if you have Genie Plus for that day, you may want to go for this one first because I have seen the wait times be upwards of two hours. So you may want to go for this one first um, when you're booking your Lightning Lanes. And the next really big one that we love is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. It is the cutest ride. That one is my favorite at Epcot other than Guardians of the Galaxy. That's my number one. But Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is so cute. You are in these little mice mouse mouse cars they're so cute and it's a trackless system and it's really neat how this ride works it's very very smooth so your little ones are not going to be jerked around or if you have an older um, family member that's going with you you don't have to worry about it kind of jarring them it's very very smooth 
and it is so cute. You are shrunk down to a little mouse size and you are scurrying around trying to get away from one of the cooks. I can't think of his name right now, the mean cook. So it is super, super cute. Absolutely love this. And this is um, probably Stella's second favorite ride. She absolutely loves it. Now this one, the lines do get very long for it too. So you're going to maybe want to go for Frozen and then this one, or if your child is more of a Remy fan, you may want to go for it first and then go for Frozen, but you're probably want to go, going to want to go for one of those first because they go super, super fast. So those are two really cute rides for kids. Um, another ride that Stella loves, and this may be for a little bit bigger kids. I forget what the height requirement is. I'll, I'll need to look and check and I'll try to post it up, but um, Test Track is super, super fun. The kids love this because, and older kids do too, and adults, because you get to design your own car before you go and, you know, test your car out. So you get to design your own car. I'll show you um, what Stella did. Hers, of course, was pink. But before you go onto the ride, you are in this room and everyone gets like their own little computer screen and you can design your car. Super fun, super cute. I think they give you like three minutes, so it's not a super long time but you can design your own car and it's really fun. You can do whatever color you want, whatever wheels you want, whatever hood you want. It, it is so much fun. It, Stella loves this one and it is a really fun ride. Now, it does go super, super fast. I want to say this is probably the fastest ride in Disney. I could be wrong. I want to say it gets up to like 63 or 65 miles per hour. So it does go pretty fast, but it's super fun and it's not a super, super long ride. So if your little ones were to get a little bit scared, it's going to be over pretty soon. So it's not super long, but this is a really fun ride. Absolutely love it. I know I'm saying super a lot. I'm sorry because I get so excited about this ride. So that is really, really fun. And then I'm trying to think of another ride that Stella really likes. She does like the Spaceship Earth ride now. To me, it's a little bit boring. It's kind of a history lesson and you, it's really slow too. It's kind of like, think like the people mover but you're kind of, you're going to go up, you know, up really high, and then you're going to be coming back down, and you kind of, at one point, you're going backwards, so if that may freak your little kid out, you may not want to, but at one point, like when you're coming back down the ride, you're going to be going backwards, but that one she really, really likes, um, so those are probably, oh, I forgot, soaring and living with the land, we love Soarin' and Living with the Land. Soarin' is so much fun. Now, I will tell you, it is a virtual ride, and they do lift you up a little bit, um, so it does give the effect that you're flying, and I will say the very first time Stella rode it, she was, um, four, yeah, she was four or five. I'm trying to remember. I think four. Um, anyways, she hated it. I mean, she cried and screamed. I was a little bit embarrassed. I was like, Stella, you've got to quit screaming. Just close your eyes. It's okay hated it, could not wait to get off this ride because it does make your stomach turn a little bit because you do look like you're flying, you know, over the Eiffel Tower and you see the fireworks going off and you feel like you are right there. I mean, you feel like you are up high. So it may scare your little one. They just kind of judge how you think your child will like it or not. I will say Stella hated it the first time. Now she loves it. Now she wants to ride it every time we go. So it is really fun, but just kind of, you may want to judge your child and you don't know until you try it. Like she hated it that first time, but I really thought she would like it, but she hated it. So you just kind of have to see how they do. Sometimes you just have to get them on there and hope for the best. But anyways, that's a really fun ride. Now she absolutely loves living with the one, living with the land. And I do too. This is a very fun educational ride. You're in a boat and there's air conditioning. So if it's super hot, this is a great way to get out of the heat and sit for a little bit. And this is a longer ride. It goes really, really slow. Now, your little one may think it's a little boring. Stella loves it because she loves to see the fish. They have all the fish that they use. Um, this is a little sad, but they use them, you know, in restaurants. So anyways, you may not want to know what you're eating, but she likes to see the fish. They have fish um, all throughout. It's like this little tunnel area. Once you get past the um, vegetation, she loves to go through there and look at the fish. And uh, it's just really neat. Um, Garden Grill that is located in the Land Pavilion. A lot of the ingredients they use comes from what you'll see when you're riding in Living with the Land. 
you'll see, you know, all the veg the vegetables they grow. Um, there's all kinds of flowers and plants and herbs and all kinds of stuff in there. And a lot of that they use at Garden Grill. So you can kind of see where your food comes from. And I think that's, it's really neat. I, I think that's a neat little thing. Um, so check that right out too. I can't believe I about forgot storing and living with the land. So it's really, really fun. So check those out. Um, unless I'm forgetting another one, I think those are about all the rides that she likes. Um, and Epcot. So that's fun. Now they do have some really cute shows for kids. She loves the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. That's fun. That's in the France Pavilion. It's super, super cute and it's inside and it's in the air condition. So if it's really, really hot out, this is a great way to beat the heat too. You can go in there and watch that. And then when you come out, there's an ice cream shop out there. It's so good. So that is a great little thing we like to do too. We'll go watch the show and then we'll stop. Me and my husband will get a drink at the France Pavilion because that's my favorite. I love to stop at um, the little crepe shop and get a mimosa and a crepe. Now Stella likes to get some ice cream. So, you know, we'll kind of hang out there for a while, chill out for a little bit. That's really, really fun. We love the France Pavilion. That's probably my absolute favorite is the France Pavilion. So that's really fun. And then there's some other things too that we like to do. We like to walk around and just look. So while you're in Epcot, take your time and just look around and see, you know, all the different countries and explore them. I'm sorry if you, my dogs are barking in the background. So if you hear them, I'm sorry. So there's all different kinds of little shops you can go into um, in all the different countries. So we like to go in there and browse around. One of our favorites is Mitsukoshi, the um, department store there. It's, it's huge and they have the neatest stuff in there. We like to go in there and look around. Um, so just check all the countries out and kind of wander back through there. I know in the Morocco Pavilion, I didn't even realize how far back it went once you walked kind of through the back. And there was some seating back there, like way in the back. There was nobody back there. So we got something to eat and we sat back there and it was really peaceful. Stella kind of took a little nap. She was sitting in her stroller and actually fell asleep. So if you need a quiet place, that's a good one to go to. Like I said, it's in the Moroccan Pavilion and you're going to kind of go around um, through the back and there's a few little tables back there and nobody was back there. So that was super nice. So if you need somewhere quiet, like I said, um, go back there. If you want to rest a little bit and like, you're, and like I said, Stella fell asleep in the stroller, you can let your kiddo nap while you and your husband sit and have a drink and just talk about your day and, and that's really fun. So that's another thing we like to do. There's also a playground there um, and Stella really likes it. It's located kind of behind the Connections Cafe. Um, so that's a really fun little thing if your child needs to burn some energy out, especially if they're little, like if you have two, three, even four year olds that are gonna be riding in the stroller most of the day because you wanna keep them contained and have, not have them run everywhere and you know be scared and you know they're gonna run off. Um, that's a great place to stop and just let them play. It's, you know, kind of fenced in, so you don't have to worry about them getting out, and you can just kind of sit there and watch them and let them burn some energy out, so that's a, a great thing to do, too. So, I don't want to keep this video too, too long, but I'm going to post some pictures up so you can see different things that I'm talking about, and that's kind of what we like to do when we take Stella. So, just remember that Epcot is for kids. It's not just for adults. There's plenty to do. There's all these festivals that are going on. That's really fun. When we were there for the art festival, which is probably one of my favorites, except I have not been to the holiday festival yet, and I'm looking forward to that. We're doing that in November, so I will bring some more information about the festival of the holidays. So that'll be fun. But when we were there for Festival of the Arts, they have this huge paint by numbers mural that you can do. And kids love this. You just go and you pick like what color you want and it'll tell you what number to go paint. And that is really, really fun. And um, there's a place where they can do um, like chalk art. That's really fun. And they did have a lot of chalk, chalk artists there that did these beautiful murals on the sidewalks. So that's really fun. And then they have an area where the kids can actually color with chalk. So that's really fun too. There's also scavenger hunts for kids. We, uh, and you, I didn't realize when we did this that you have to purchase it. So I was a little bit bummed, but we did the Remy's um, scavenger hunt. So you just kind of go around um, World Showcase and you look for, you know, Ratatouille. And so 
that was really fun but you have to purchase the little board and I didn't realize you did I thought it was free and I want to say it was ten dollars and so you get this little board it was a round circle and it came with little stickers so once you would find Remy in each of the countries you would just take that sticker and put it um on what country he was in or which one you found so that is fun but you do have to pay for that and so I was a little bit bummed but that is fun Stella liked that she did that while we kind of walked around and was you know trying or while we were trying some different food out and she enjoyed doing that so that's another thing you can check out that your kids may like to do too while you know I feel like you have to kind of do something they want to and then you do something you want to that way everybody's happy so we would go ride some rides she wanted to go see a show and then we would tell her okay now me and dad we're gonna go do some things we want to so she had that little Remy scavenger hunt thing that she could do while she was riding in the stroller and then I would just give her my phone and let her watch Bluey or some kind of show that she wanted to watch and she was really happy to do that because I think she was tired and worn out so we always kind of do like what she wants to do first and that way she's kind of tired and ready to sit in her stroller and so she was happy as, all, as could be just sitting in the stroller watching Bluey while me and my husband tried different foods and different drinks out around the world showcase so that's kind of how we do it so I just want everyone to know like don't skip Epcot don't make the mistake that we did the first time that we took her and skipped it because I thought this is not for kids she's not going to have any fun here well that is not true she absolutely loved it and had a ball so Epcot is for kids it's super super fun and your little one will love it just as much as you do so don't skip it on your Disney vacation um, don't forget to leave me a comment if you want to see something on this upcoming trip that I'm, I'm starting to plan. Let me know because I'm going to be filming while I'm at the park and I'm so excited to do this. So if you guys want to leave me a comment, let me know what you want to see, what you want me to talk about. I'll do a room tour. If there's a restaurant you may want to know about, I'll, I'll do that too. Just kind of let me know what you guys want to see and I will try my best to do it. So Thank you for joining us today. I hope you guys have a magical day. We'll see you next time. Bye.